got lasers in his eyes and he's going crazy ties. He's a maniac. Whoa. It's Q&A Friday and I'm wearing the hat. So my name is Jamie. This is Q&A Friday with the vegan. I am Jamie. I just said that. So let's get started. So a bit of a recap. I am working on the book. As you know, I'm working on this book. Uh, it's 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 off the chain. Every time I work on it, every time it, it keeps getting better and better and better. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more information on that. It's it is going to be big. Before we get started, just check out my other channel. I am Jamie. It's different. It's crazy. It's fun. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. I am Jamie. I'll put the link in the description below. Let's do it. So my slacklining event, the slacklining fruit luck meetup thing, it's going to be on this coming Wednesday. Wednesday the 18th from 12 to sunset, so around a little bit before 8. Oh my gosh. If you missed the event last week or two weeks ago, whatever it was, it is so much fun. It is, it's, you have to come. If you're in the area, if you're in New York City, if you're on Long Island, if you have to come. It's bring your own fruit and I'll put the description in the link. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, how long have you been vegan and why did you decide to go vegan? Well, I've been vegan since the summer of 2011. Um, I was vegetarian that winter in college. What is What made me go vegan is... Um, Mainly just for health because I was I was just curious. I wanted to do one of my experiments to see if I would feel better not eating meat. And then I did feel better and then I started doing it more for a week. And then I started doing it for two weeks and then it ended up being, well, I guess I'm not eating meat, you know, in the past and for a while now. So I guess I'm just not eating meat for the time being. And then after that, I started to research more about veganism. So then I, I guess I was vegan because I was I stopped eating cheese and I stopped eating these things. That was more for ethics because it was it was a lot harder for me to give up the cheese, give up the dairy, give up the milk. So I sort of um, made it a priority because of the ethics, because I knew what was happening, what I was supporting when I was eating those foods. So that kept me going in that transitory period where it's really hard to give up cheese. And then here I am today. Is it okay to eat normal rice? Uh, I normally eat jasmine organic rice, but I'm all out and all you have is normal rice, like not organic, and the ingredients don't say, don't just say rice and water. I'm scared to eat it. Um, it depends. Uh, I mean, I would eat, um, like, I would go to, you know, a supermarket or whatever and get the stop and shop white enriched rice, if that was the only thing I could afford. I would buy that before anything else, before fruits, before vegetables, because I need that fuel. That's like the baseline. So I would I would eat it if there was nothing else, for sure. But yeah, organic is always going to be better. Whole grain is always going to be better. That white organic um, jasmine rice, that basmati rice, um, whatever other rice, it's going to be better. So you do the best that you can. You know, never go hungry, never go thirsty, and never go without sleep. Because if you don't take care of the three pillars of health, your health will decline. So, do the best that you can. Because that's the only thing you can do. Bye -bye. Bye. Do you ever worry that you won't find the right partner for you? I used to. I used to a lot. But now since I'm becoming the partner that I want to attract, the partner that I want to see, it's, it's not an issue. Because the best relationship you can have is a relationship with the person in the mirror. And it might sound cheesy, it might sound cliche, but it is so true. You can't have a relationship with a partner, with a girlfriend, with a, a boyfriend or a, a husband until you take care of you. Go within and you go without. So you, you, will, you, will, you will find the person that is perfect for you. You know, whether, whether you're, you haven't worked on yourself, whether you haven't done this or whether you have. It'll always be in alignment with who you are, what frequency, what energy you're emitting. That's what you're going to attract into your life. So I am supremely confident that um, the right person will come. Or uh, it's Because I'm not worried about it. I'm not like I used to be, oh, you know, I have to, you know, because I'm getting older now and I need to get this person and this and that. And I have to, I don't need anything. I literally don't need anything because I have everything that I could ever want in this moment. When you have that mentality, you open yourself up to 
infinite possibilities. Where to buy uh, clothing that is vegan? Well, if you just Google it, vegan clothing or, you know, I mean, st st uh, mostly you should just stay away from wool, um, leather, uh, what else? Other things that aren't vegan. But other than that, uh, it's pretty easy to find stuff that is vegan, vegan clothing. Or you could just go naked. How do you feel about oats? I feel that oats are great. Oats are fantastic. Me personally, I would rather have, instead of oats in the morning, I would rather have rice and some coconut sugar, some cinnamon, and some rice milk. Oh my goodness, it is a fantastic breakfast. Oats, don't, they, uh, they're too, the ratio between fats, carbohydrates, and protein is a little bit off. So it's not as close to fruit as, say, rice or potatoes are. So I feel myself not being, not feeling the best on oats as I used to. But I think they're fantastic. And after, you know, if I don't have any fruit in the house or if I don't have any rice or oats are definitely, you know, in the house as a sort of backup or, you know, once in a while. But if you want to have it every day, go ahead. Do it. Just for me personally, I don't, I don't do it.